Regardless if you are into photo editing or video editing, in today's world with 4K videos, you will need lots of capacity, storage capacity to uh, retain your pictures and your movies. Um, the issue there is, of course, that your hard disk or whatever storage device you have internal to your computer may not be big enough. So you will have to go back to external storage capability. The external storage capability can come in many different ways. And I've been looking around for a long time on the market. What would be the best thing for me to have? Uh, you can go between typical hard disks. And then this is actually a hard disk uh, that is mounted typically in a enclosure of some sort. And the other alternative is to go to solid state memory like this one right here now this is solid state um, and it's a lot faster than actually hard disks it's also more expensive but that's not the only issue uh, there is more aspects to it i'm not going to say you have to go immediately for solid state or you have to go for a hard disk it all depends on what you want to do uh, if your backup system is only intended to make backups of your system as the name implies, then, well, then you don't really worry too much about transfer rates. But if you're going to be actively uh, manipulating and editing pictures and videos while the source file is on your external media, then the transfer rate becomes very important. And you have to have very high transfer rates to be able to do that. Now, a hard disk or solid state memory, it's great. And Honestly, solid state is a lot faster than a hard disk, but all of that can be void uh, if you're having the wrong physical interface uh, to your PC. Now I have right here next to me a Black Armor um, Seagate NAS. So it's a network storage device. It has two hard disks in it, and let's forget about the uh, capacity for the minute, and let's talk only about the performance of the transfer of the data, so the reading and the write from your computer to the device. Now that device is great, but it's not that great, I think, for video editing and picture editing for one very simple reason. On the back, you will find right here an ether connection. So this network device can be attached to your LAN and the LAN then connects to UPC through a switched network or to a router, it doesn't really matter, but the LAN has a switched, uh, a fixed capacity. Typical, the LAN could be 100 megabits per second or one gigabit per second. The specific device has two one gig ports, meaning that actually I could be running up to two gigabits per second uh, of speed on the connection between this device, my NAS and my PC. Reality is, of course, that you don't ever achieve that and you've got to be lucky if you get around 80 megabytes per second. That is going to be about an average speed. So then it doesn't really matter if you have in your NAS your hard disk or you have your solid state disk. It, it doesn't matter anymore because your limitation factor is the interface between your computer and your uh, external device. There are alternatives, obviously, and you can go for solid state drives with kind of a USB 3 interface. That's fast, uh, much faster than the Ether segment. But then again, it may not be fast enough. So I opted for a new device. Um, it's called from Lucky. It's called the uh, ruggedized uh, Thunderbolt drive. Now Thunderbolt is a new standard uh, developed by Mac and as you can see here this is the Thunderbolt connector which is going much much faster than the standard USB 3s uh, in the world um, and therefore this device right here is having speeds according to the paperwork up to 250 megabyte per second all because of the uh, Thunderbolt interface and the presence of two hard disks inside that are kind of parallel being read out. This is a great investment and I found this one to be the best. Now, you don't have to believe me, so we'll do a real live test.
Thank <laughs> you.